Hello, Twin Rivers artists. I am one of the Twin Rivers elementary art teachers, Mr. C, Mr. Cudney, my students at my three schools call me Mr. C. And I would like to share a lesson with you today. In this lesson, we are going to learn about caricature. A caricature is a picture of a person that is exaggerated or distorted. We'll come back to that. But before we talk about character, let's discuss what is what a portrait is. A portrait is a drawing or painting or a photo or a sculpture of a person or a pet. Here are some portraits from famous artists. These three are self-portraits, and this one is a portrait of somebody else and by Leonardo. Of course, that's the Mona Lisa. These were self-portraits by the artist. Notice that they're pretty realistic. They really look like the person, or we can imagine they do, and they do. Here's an example of sculpture or statue portraits of famous people. Sacagawea, Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln, and Harriet Tubman. These are pretty realistic portrayals through sculpture of famous characters throughout history that various artists created. You can also make a portrait or realistic picture of your animal or pet, like these artists did. And as I said, a portrait can be a photo. Here are a couple photos of some very famous people. This, of course, is Obama. Let's use him as an example. Notice that usually in a portrait, if you want to be a realistic portrait, you have the, the eyes the same. They're opposite, but they're the same. So this side of the face is the exact opposite of this side. The eyes are pretty much the same shape and size. The ears are pretty much the same shape and size, just flipped. And the nose holes or nostrils also are the same shape and size, just, just flipped. That's called symmetrical. Faces are usually symmetrical. Right. That speaks to one of the principles of design. Here are some of the principles of design. Today, the one that's most relevant is proportion. Proportion is a principle of design that has to do with how sizes of parts of something or picture compare to each other and to the whole picture. So Again, are the ears the right shape? Are they the right size compared to his whole head? Are his eyes the right shape and size compared to each other and compared to the whole head? Um, is his nose the right shape and size compared to the rest of his head? Are her hands the right size compared to her body and her head? So it's, it's about comparison, sizes and shapes, comparing parts to each other and parts to the whole. Um, if you're trying to make a picture realistic, you want to have things the right shape and size. Proportion. In these simple drawings, you'll notice that they're kind of out of proportion. The eyes aren't the same size. Her ears aren't the same size. Her nose is really small, maybe. Her neck is really small. And that's okay sometimes. We'll talk more about that later. But if you're trying to make it look like the real person or pet, you want to make the ears the same size, the eyes the same size. So these are examples of not realistic proportion. And again, this drawing also an example of not realistic proportion. Eyes different size, maybe ear too big for a head, this arm and leg way bigger than the other ones. Out of proportion, we might say. Here are some famous artworks, portraits, but they're purposely distorted like Picasso's portrait here. Nobody has a neck that long in real life. Maybe, probably nobody has eyes that big. Nobody's arm is shaped quite like that. Nobody's made of flowers in this uh, orchard by Archimboldo. And by Margaret Keane, this picture, she uh, made most of her characters, or all of her characters have really big eyes. And nobody's eyes are really that big. And that's okay. These are more characters. Are also portraits, but they're caricatures as well because they're exaggerated. Here are a couple of sculpture busts or head and shoulders of 
various people. Notice how exaggerated that nose is. Notice how exaggerated the size of that forehead is. Notice how exaggerated his nose is. And look at his face is all um, distorted and bent out of shape. And that's okay. That doesn't mean these aren't cool, awesome pieces of art. But they're not in proportion realistically. So a caricature is a picture of a person that is exaggerated or distorted. We're going to talk about caricatures of famous people. Here's Justin Bieber, here's Cardi B, Snoop Dogg, and I think that's one of the BTS kids. Notice how big his neck is, long his neck is. Notice how fat his lips are. No, he doesn't really look like that. It looks like Justin Bieber because the shape of his features is the right shape, but the sizes are distorted. Um, that kind of looks like Cardi B, but her eyes probably not really aren't that big compared to her head. Her hair might not really be that tall. You know, his head's probably not really that shape. It's exaggerated. If a, if if a character has a big nose, you make it even bigger. If they have small ears, you make them even smaller. If they have big teeth, you make them even bigger. We're going to talk about one of the most famous caricature artists of all time. He's an American named Al Hirschfeld. Al Hirschfeld is very well known for his caricatures. He was born in St. Louis in 1903, but soon his family moved to New York City where he really grew up. And when he got a little older, he studied over in Europe drawing, painting, and sculpture in Paris and London. And practice and got really good. And he decided that the thing he liked the most and that he was really good at was drawing people, especially caricatures where he exaggerates and distorts them. This is an example of a couple of car caricatures he did. This is Laurel and Hardy, a famous comedic duel. They're really funny guys that do funny stuff. These are two others. Abbott and Costello, they do really funny stuff. Here's Laurel and Hardy, and here's Abbott and Costello. Notice Abbott's head is kind of skinny and long. He exaggerated it. Notice how big um, Laurel's chin is. He made it even bigger. His noise is kind of pointy. He made it even pointier. Um, notice how Hardy's face is chubby. He made it even chubbier. But it still kind of looks like him. Here's a photo of Al Hirschfeld when he was in his prime, like the middle of his life. That's what he looked like. He had a beard most of his life. He, he started his beard because he lived in apartments that didn't have electricity or hot water called cold water flats for part of his life. And then he just stuck with the beard. Um, Hirschfeld did lots of caricatures, hundreds, thousands of caricatures over his lifetime, his long lifetime. Here are some caricatures he did of famous musicians or singers. He also did caricatures of famous actors. Notice how simple his drawings are. Not a whole lot of detail, no shading or value, just basically lines. Very graceful, curvy lines, mostly curvy. And he also did caricatures of world leaders like presidents. These three were all presidents of our country and the Queen of England, even those types of people. And he did caricatures of famous dancer actors famous movie characters. Yeah, here's one of Einstein. This is Al and his wife, Dolly, in the middle of their life. And in 1945, Al and Dolly, his wife, had one daughter, their only child. They only had one. Her name was Nina. There's Nina watching her dad draw. Nina was born in 1945, and soon after she was born, 
Sal started to hide her name in his pictures. Here's a picture he did of an actor named Leonard Nimoy. Can you see where he hid his daughter's name in this picture? He just thought it'd be kind of fun to do that. Can you see it? Usually a lot of times you put it in the hair, Nina, see that, Nina. And people started to hear about that he was doing that. And they're like, and they started looking for the Ninas. Here's another one where he hid a Nina. If there's no number after his name, that means there's only one Nina. If there was more than one Nina, he would put a two or three or four there for how many Ninas. I don't know that he did that very often. So this one has no number, so there's only one Nina. Can you see it? Can you spot it? It's right there also, like the last one in the hair, Nina. Here's another one where he hit a Nina. Just one Nina, no number. Uh, can you see it? Right there on the sleeve, on his clothes, Nina. And when Nina got a little older, he did a caricature of her here, and he called it Nina's Revenge. You'll notice it has two plus two. See the numbers? That means there's more than one. Why two plus two? Because there are two owls and two dollies. So he put his name twice and Nina's mom's name, Dolly, twice. See those? He had one of... One owl and one dolly in the hair, and one owl and one dolly on her clothes. And he, he did a few caricatures of himself, self-portrait caricatures like this one. And Al Hirschfeld lived to be 99 years old. He died in 2003 at the age of 99. Isn't that amazing? And he inspired lots of other artists. Here's another, here's another artist who did a caricature, an exaggerated portrait of Al. So we show, I showed you these before. Again, if the person has a pointy chin, make it even pointier. If they have big eyes, make them even bigger. If they have you know, small ears, make them even smaller. And we talked about how his teeth were pretty big, make them even bigger, exaggerate. So many other artists have done caricatures of famous musicians or singers like Al Hirschfeld. These are some more recent ones that you may know. Sports figures or athletes like LeBron, Messi, and Serena Williams. Notice how big her head is compared to her body. Notice how he exaggerated his big nose and big nostrils. And in the case of LeBron, his jaws exaggerated, maybe his lips. The size of his top of his head is made smaller than it really is. His neck longer than it really is. Here's some other artists, caricatures of famous actors. Will Smith, do his ears really stick out that much? Is his chin really that big? J-Lo, were her cheeks really that pointy? No, but the shapes of things are correct, so it kind of looks like they're. And that's Iron Man, um, Robert Downey Jr. Exaggerated. And artists are still creating characters of world leaders like Obama. Ears aren't really that big. He does have ears that stick out. They don't really stick out that much. His, his eyebrows aren't really that bushy, but it still looks like him because of the shapes of the things are right. Trump, of course, exaggerated. So when you do a caricature, consider exaggerating the shape of the head. Uh, when you're drawing a caricature of a young person or a child, you're usually going to want to make the top of the head kind of big. It just looks cuter and it looks more like a child. You know, if it's someone who's kind of ch a chubby face, maybe, and maybe strong, like a man, like LeBron, 
make the um, jaw and cheeks kind of big. If it's someone who's really skinny, make their head extra skinny. Someone has a big nose, make their nose extra big. Someone has a square head, make it extra square and so forth. Someone has a big mouth, make it extra big. So make smaller things smaller, small things smaller, and big things bigger. So let's do a quick caricature. Um, unfortunately, my son Bruce isn't here, but I'll use this photo of him. Ain't he cute? Bruce is 12 right now. This is a recent photo of him. I'm going to use this to make my caricature. I'm going to exaggerate it, remember? So here's my paper. And Bruce's head is a little bit square. We'll make it kind of big like that. His ears are a little on the big side. We'll make him a little bigger. And because he's a kid, his chin is not going to be super big. Smaller like that. Okay. Don't make the mistake of putting the eyes too high. They're kind of down here in the middle. And he's kind of got... He's kind of got heavy eyebrows. Let's make the eyes the same size. Eyelids, rather. And he's got a little bags under his eyes. He's got kind of bushy eyebrows. We'll make his hair a little bit spikier. And the bottom of his hair comes up to here. It's not way up here. And give him some sideburns, some little wrinkles in his ears. We're going to give him, he's just, he's got a cute little nose. We'll make it nice and small. And he's got chubby cheeks. And we'll give him a little smile. And there's Bruce. And we'll give him a little neck and shoulders. And let's just do a, one more quick caricature of our cute little doggy Winston, who's a cockapoo. Is in the adorable. All right, here's my paper. And I'm ready to go. So we're going to give him kind of a big round head. And we're going to make his nose pretty big. And notice his nostrils kind of go like that. And we're going to give him some big, cute, big eyes. And we'll make it like that. And he's kind of got bushy eyebrows. And we'll give him some scruffy hair on top. The cockapoos have big ears. Like that. He's got a cute little mouth. We'll make it nice and small. He's kind of got a beard. Like that. <laughs> we'll give him little bags under his eyes. We'll make his eyebrows a little more bushy. And we're going to give him a cute little tiny body like that. There's his little paws, his little butt, his back paws. And he has a little kind of short tail like that. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And we can shade in his ears because they're kind of darker. And he kind of has spots. You can put a few spots on him. He's kind of a spotty guy. So to review, we learned about caricatures, which are pictures of people or pets that are exaggerated or distorted. And a caricature can be a portrait, but a portrait can also be a drawing, painting, photo, or sculpture that's realistic of a person or pet. And we learned that when you do a realistic portrait, you want to make sure that you're thinking about the proportions, right? The size is right compared to the whole head or body, if you include the body. But of course, if you do a caricature, the sizes are going to be out of proportion. But like you'd want to make the ears the same size. If you make them really big, they're both really big. Or maybe if the eyes are both really small, you make them both really small. So be consistent. That has to do with proportion. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the lesson. Um, please give it a try. 
you can try to draw your own pet or family member. Um, if they don't hold still, you can take a picture and work from that. You can look on the internet for pictures. You can copy someone else's caricature to get practice. You can color them. Um, you can do lots of different things. I'd love to see them, and I'm sure most of us would. So remember to take pics and send them to your teacher or art teacher so they can get them to the person who can get them on the art website so we can all see how awesome you did. Good luck, and thanks again.